Yo, what is poppin' YouTube? It's your boy. We are here with a new YouTube video today. In today's episode, we are going to talk about Tesla supercharging. If you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe to the channel to see more Tesla video and my other videos on the channel. I do Supreme content as well. But in today's video and episode, we are going to talk about Tesla supercharging. So if you haven't checked out my previous video, I did pick up a new Tesla so it's been two weeks now that I've been driving this new model 3 standard range plus all right so I am going to talk about a little bit about my experiences so far and the most important part right now that a lot of viewers have is charging so right. recharge my car so we are going to talk about supercharging all right so without further ado let's get straight to it supercharging teslas if you are looking to buy a new tesla make sure to use my referral link down below in the description box both you and i when you use my referral code will get free 1000 supercharging miles and who doesn't like free stuff both you and i will not have to pay for supercharging uh for a thousand miles so if more of you guys use my referral link as you can great. see right now it's about 6 43 p.m 86 degrees fahrenheit these days in la it's really hot as you can see right here 27 miles left i'm pretty much out of juice um so yeah there are basically superchargers right here as you can see there's two it's in rolling heights all right so it's really cool it tells you what is available how many stalls there are right so right here there's eight tesla superchargers right here got five stalls available the interesting thing about charging is that it's different from gas so apparently as you can see how the price changes right from 21 21 cents per kilowatt hours i assume that's kwh whatever that you know that term means but anyways point of the matter is that at certain times it's more expensive than others. So as you can tell right now, 6.44 p.m., I am not trying to charge my car at peak hours. As you can see, from 12 a.m. to 10 a.m. is 21 cents. From 10 a.m. to 7 p.m., so that's pretty much what peak hours pretty pretty busy so 42 cents and then 7 to 12 a.m is back to 21 and obviously if there's idle fees if you stay for too long because i heard if i remember correctly if you stay too long in a supercharger you will get charged a dollar per minute so definitely do not do that anyways point on the matter is the whole point is from 10 to 7 p.m. is going to be always more expensive here in California because I live in California, Southern California in LA County. It is definitely going to be more expensive than charging it from 7 p.m. all the way to 10 a.m. So if you're trying to save some money and if you have some time, uh, please do, if you can, just to help you guys out charge your car during not peak hours because it's definitely more cheaper. All right, so we are here at the supercharger at 24 miles and let's go charge our car. here it is as you can see right here it is now 703 perfect timing we are about uh 40 minutes to supercharge our car I'm waiting for my car to fully charge um so i want to take this time to talk about the standard range plus uh for me i think this tesla model 3 is great the standard range plus fits my need in my opinion i don't think i need a long range at all in fact i was actually having a little debate should i spend that extra money to get the long range version version but in fact i'm actually satisfied with the standard range plus and here's why 
Um, for me, I actually commute a lot for work. So I drive, it takes me about 30 miles to get to work and then 30 miles to come back. Taking into account, I also do some errands like the gym and you know, groceries, things like that every once in a while during the weekday. I do go to the gym almost every day during the week, like five to six days a week. So that give or take about five miles there and back to my house. So average, I do about 70 miles uh, of driving a day so obviously combining all together and the standard range plus has 263 obviously it's estimated but I never put it to full 263 so let's just say you know about 80 85 percent whatever the car says that it should be charged up to you know it's like 235 you know and so to be honest I can make basically if you do the math 70 times 3 is 210 and to let you guys know even when you park your car the tesla it's like a phone right it's like an iphone and te technically you do lose like a minimum at least a mile of range just parking there you know even though you're not using it it's just you know it is what it is so gotta take it account for that just in case so make sure if you're running out of battery you know don't push it too thin because you're not gonna have enough mileage to get into a charger but besides the fact um yeah that's plenty of enough I could literally go three days and I still have about 25 miles to spare uh, let's just say if I'm not charging at home um, yeah if I need to supercharge it and three days that's enough you know and I don't want to spend an extra ten thousand uh, dollars but that's just me uh, like I say again so that's just my take on it so the standard range plus is enough and also secondly because most of the time I do charge at home too it comes with a level one charger obviously it's not as fast as a supercharger and things like that I only plug it in during off-peak hours at night before I sleep and things like that and the level one charger gives you about four to six miles of range per hour so let's just say I usually plug it in around you know nine or ten and I take it out about eight in the morning that's usually when i wake up so let's just do simple math okay let's just average about eight times five and that's 40 all right that's 40 miles and that's pretty much you know even it gives you about a little more than 50 percent for me because obviously i drive about 70 miles and you know 40 45 50 that's more than enough so i never really need to go to a supercharger until the weekends all right so i have to minimum obviously i have to supercharge it once sometimes twice a week if I go out more but to be honest supercharging is not that expensive is more cheaper than gas especially since I was driving a Luxus and in California gas prices are about what 450 depends on you know where you're at and I'm paying like sixty dollars for a full tank so after the car charges I'm gonna show you guys what the price range is like Alright, so there you have it as you can see fully charged about 233 miles it took about literally yes 40 minutes because obviously I was literally running low on battery but as you can see the total right here comes out to nine dollars and 45 cents all right basically yeah so basically a full charge for me this session right here is about 10 bucks all right i'll just round it up to 10 so if it's on peak hour if it's past 10 a.m all the way to 659 obviously that 10 dollars will become 20 all right so that's double the price so i'm trying to help you guys out if you can save that money and wait until off peak hours to charge your car 10 bucks is a lot better than 20 all right so let's just say i have to charge about two times a week 20 bucks all right for supercharge for about what 500 miles okay that's 20 bucks 20 times four that's 80 bucks just on charging a tesla for me right now you know estimating because obviously it's only been two weeks considered what i have to pay for gas before for premium on a lexus is was at least sixty dollars per week so that's already fifty dollars i mean forty dollars cheaper all right if i charge twice obviously that's already at least you know forty to fifty dollars cheaper depending on how much i drive obviously but that is considerably a lot cheaper than what 
I have to pay for a gas car. So that's just taking for a premium car. For example, comment down in the comment section below what you guys think, things like that. If you guys enjoyed this video, is this informative to you? Obviously, like I said, I live in California, LA, so these prices and standards reflect on Southern California and California uh, standards. Alright guys, so that does it. That pretty much wraps up episode 2 of the Tesla series. Alright, so in today's episode, like I said, I got a little wrap up. We talked about charging, supercharger, that is the main uh, focus. Obviously, peak time and hours, price, cost, and yeah, we did a little rundown of that. I hope you guys enjoyed. Alright, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like comment and subscribe once again if you are looking to buy a new tesla make sure to use my refer my tesla referral code in the link down in the description below both you and i will get free 1000 supercharger miles all right and lastly i would like to leave off that i do have a tiktok i'll leave it down in the description below all right i will be doing you know a daily uh, vlogs so if you're into that and you're into tiktok uh make sure to follow me all right but hope you guys enjoyed and until next time peace